Plate, can you please welcome Costa Barbarisa? Congratulations and, and thank you for bringing in uh, the well, Premier's plate. When we, when we ask people to bring in a plate, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I think we have to position this is, this, is, this is the way we're actually broadcasting tonight. Yeah, this is how we're getting. That's what we want. That's we're what going we got it just are. right oh, there. So thank you for coming. Thanks, in. mate. My pleasure. Thank you. You family. smell fantastic. What is that? <laughs> amouage. It's epic. amouage. Yes. It, it's called Epic? Yeah. That's a real gen. What? Generation apps one, isn't yeah. it? Does anyone wear cool water? <laughs> I, I accused Millsy of wearing that, actually, oh, yeah. and he got offended. So. Oh, did he really? Yeah. <laughs> this is CK1, I'll have you know. Uh, anyway, you smell nice aside. Let's get to some football, Sammy. You smell of Lynx, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Lynx Java. I know, what a surprise. Old Spice right here. <laughs> I'll start. Tur <laughs> turpentine. Um, I'll start by just yeah. saying congratulations on the season. Mm -hmm. A magnificent season. Uh, at the start of the season, what were, what were the expectations of the team? I can ask serious questions too, Costa. Yeah. What were the expectations for the team at the start of the season? I think, I guess, it was to sort of go one further than last year. You know, we were pretty disappointed with how we finished up last year and, you know, we probably didn't deserve to win the Premiership last year. We were a bit inconsistent and we wanted to, to fix that and I think with the additions we have had to our squad and, and amongst other things, we've done that. Where did you finish last year? We finished fourth in the regular season. So you, what, you want to finish third this year? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, win the thing. Oh, yeah, exactly. exactly. Uh, so obviously, Cal Fala and Barisha have made a, a huge difference. What's it like playing with uh, Bessart? You know, because the way the victory works is it's two blokes on the wing and someone in the middle. Is it just Barisha with his hand up the whole time? Kick it to me, please. Kick it to me, please. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when you take a shot instead of passing to him, does he take that well? No, not at all. We had, <laughs> we had a couple of incidents on uh, on uh, Sunday night as well. Yeah, that's right, because he hadn't scored at Amy Park yet, yeah. and he was pretty desperate to get that done. He was, and uh, you know, I didn't play it to him once, and he was furious, and we we talked it out at, like a minute, half time. <laughs> 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 we did, it's great. What does he so say? It's, so it's more than just a glare. It's a bit of like a. It's a yeah, well, he's you know he's a goal scorer, and he wants to score goals, and you know if he thinks he's in a better position, uh, he wants the ball. But you're, what are you? You're a goal scorer as well. Like, you're, aren't you allowed to take a shot? Yeah, I, I think so. I <laughs> <laughs> have to ask permission, yeah. mate. Yeah. Oh, you know, I'm a, I'm a student of the WOG accent, OK? Because <laughs> <laughs> I've grown up my whole life with it. Yes. That is so awesome to have a, a half Greek, half New Zealand accent that you have there. That's just... Did, were you born in New Zealand? Yeah, I, I don't actually know what I am anymore. I've been, here, been in Australia for four or five years as well, so a bit of a uh, fruit salad. And you can put the fruit salad inside yeah, that. So I don't, I didn't know that there were many Greeks in New Zealand. Did, did your parents migrate there? Had, what was the connection? Yeah, well, my mum moved over when she was young, about six years old, and then from went, Australia, from Greece, from Greece, okay. yeah, with her family. To, what, so what for the weather? <laughs> for the wind, for the so, wind yes. because I would imagine when she came, there probably weren't too many Greeks in New Zealand. No, not at all. And uh, I remember my dad telling me when he landed in New Zealand, there was no buildings or anything. And he said, "Oh, I've just come to another village." So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I couldn't tell you why, why they did. What, go did there. what did they do when they came to New Zealand? My dad actually worked in a fish and chip shop for many years. Oh, don't be that cliche. <laughs> <come on. laughs> That's why I have to go to football to break the cliche. Yeah, right. <laughs> was it always going to be uh, football? Because New Zealand, was there cricket? Was there rugby? What else was there? None in my family, no. It was, <laughs> it was, it was football. They, they'd probably pop the balls if I wore another one at home. Right. <laughs> and so, when the All Whites go, when does New Zealand play their next match? Uh, we don't have anything planned this window because under 23s have got their qualifiers for okay. the Olympics. So. Probably the next window after that, and then uh, the qualifiers will start soon after. Because you guys are still doing Oceania, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. It's yeah. pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to jinx anything. <laughs> you know, what, whenever I think about New Zealand football at a national level, you, the, you always go straight to the 2010 World Cup when you, um, what's the famous one? Didn't lose a game. Yeah, that's right. Didn't win a game, but didn't lose a game. <laughs> <laughs> Only undefeated side in that World Cup. That sounds better than not winning. Yeah. <laughs> but why we're go we... with not winning. <laughs> but, um, and, and how did you experience, uh, like, were you there? No, I wasn't there. There was something okay. going on there, because you just left the Phoenix. Because you just left the Phoenix. I know, I'm trying to brush over Sam's insults. But you just... Did you watch it? I was, I was actually in Brisbane. I just arrived at Brisbane and I watched it from there. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, you know... 
Paris of the North. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's where I live. And so, yes, it is. Um, but uh, we, there was something weird had happened, wasn't it? You just left the Phoenix to go to Brisbane. And the coach of the Phoenix, Ricky Herbert, was also the then coach of the All Whites. And is it true? The rumour I heard was that he was cross with you for leaving the Phoenix. So he said, well, you're not coming to the World Cup then. Is that true? Well, not fully, I don't think. It might have had a bit to do with it. But I was also young and not playing a lot of football. So I was sort of expected to make the team, but it didn't work out that way. That's a bummer, isn't it? A real bummer, yeah. Will you ever follow Ricky Herbert to play in India? Because that's where he is now. He's in India. How old are you now? I'm 25 now. So you need about 30 years yeah. in the yeah. yeah. <laughs> right hitting zone for a... Uh, yeah, for right when all my ligaments have gone. <laughs> <laughs> on this show, we, we did enjoy the Indian Super League when it was on. As a player and as a current player, did you were you aware of it? Did you even see any of it? Any interest at all? I was because uh, one of my friends, Leo Burdos, played in the oh, league. Of course. Yeah, yeah, and also, uh, in Ricky Herbert's side? Yeah, in yeah. Ricky Herbert's side. What did he say about it? Oh, I haven't spoken to him since. Yeah, I don't know if he's gotten out of there yet. Oh, he couldn't have hasn't gotten out of there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Lucrative. Hey, I want to talk about this other thing that's going on here is the uh, the Fans League. Now, this is about uh, PlayStation yeah, playing FIFA 15. We're up to the grand final. We're broadcasting it live on Fox from Federation Square tomorrow. Is this right? Yep. Now, are you a FIFA guy? Do you sit around just playing FIFA all day? I wanted to say I'm not because then I don't have much expectations going into tomorrow, but okay. I, I do play a little bit. You yeah. play a lot, don't you? Now, is, do, you, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Do, you do you play online against, you know, various people from around the world? Yeah, I do, yeah. yeah. Is that all you do online? Because <laughs> <laughs> we've got your web history. Can we bring that up here? <laughs> <laughs> so do you oh, really, so you go, because I, I, I have FIFA 15 and I limit myself to two games a week because otherwise yeah. that's all I'll do, right? I don't have much of a life. So <laughs> is it true that there's a little network of players that play each other from around the world? Not that I know of, maybe. Oh, you're not uh, in it. I no, I'm not done. in it. <laughs> 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 Leo, Leo Messi, not Leo Bertolini. <laughs> so that's Shamara Ferris. So is that Pierce? What's it? Fifteen. Fifteen. That's the one in Twitter, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's cool saga. That's, no, that's I said, Santa, do you want to play a game of Fifteen? Fifteen goes sure, and then he started like trying to put money in the stock. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't know what he was doing. Trying to tilt the machine. You tilt the machine. You'd love to pin more when you used to tilt. I love tilting the machine. It was a gift I, of yours. It was wasn't a fantastic. I used to be able to do it with my ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's tomorrow, 7.30 on 5.05, and you're going to be down there as well, aren't you, hanging out? Okay, so, a big match so. this weekend? Not for us. No, of course not. No, no. <laughs> you just sounded like me there. <laughs> can, I, can I do a bit of this as your life? Please do. Right? Because, you know, we know you played for uh, Wellington, Brisbane, yep. now the victory. Mm -hmm. You've been elsewhere, though. What about the one-year uh, contract with the Greek Giants, Pana? You know the team you played for. What about them? What was that like? No, it was brilliant. I, I was a supporter of the club since I was a little kid, so it was a dream come true for me to go and play there, and uh, I had a great year there. Did what? you get paid? Yeah. <laughs> Most of it, yeah. Most of it, really? It was a bit... Yeah, it was, they're going through a tough situation. I think they're a lot better now, and they're doing a lot better in the league than okay. when I was there as well. Um, right. Fans are, fans are full on there, aren't they? Yeah, we um, you know, we went, I think we lost two on a bounce once, and uh, we had our, the fans invade our training ground. So really, oh, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. about two hundred of them. advice, or what were they? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not in a friendly way though. Really, invade <laughs> <laughs> the training ground and, and stop and training. Yeah, give you a it, piece of their mind. Any yeah. of the grounds? Do they actually like, have the Suvalaki there as well, like, like they have in the, in the state leagues? No, <laughs> I don't think they Is the Greek? First division in Europe, where you qualify for the Champions League yeah. if you win it. Is that like the State League? That is. <laughs> <laughs> that's his that's his can, you get, can you get a Suvlaki at a Greek game? Well, for sure, yeah. For I sure. See, there you go. Oh, that wasn't. <laughs> sorry, man. I, I stand corrected. Hard hitting. Hard hitting. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it looks like you couldn't even have it. Do you want to keep going with that, or have you finished? No, no. This is it was pretty bad. So <laughs> have we? Um, you couldn't even say the word Panathinaikos. You just said Panas something. Panas something. Costa knows the team he played for, don't worry about it. Before we let you go, so yeah. it could end up being a... Could it still be a Melbourne derby if both te if all teams win for the grand final? Yes, I think so, yeah. Okay, so, you think so. I'm not too sure. Yeah. Don't yeah. correct me on that. Am, no. I, am I wrong? I don't know. No, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no well, the other one, the other good one would be if it was if it was Sydney. That's a great rivalry, isn't it? Yeah, we've had three great games against them already this year, so... 
Uh, you know, we finished first and second, and that's probably what everyone's expecting. Yeah. And Costa, the thing is that uh, uh, I wonder whether it's a home ground advantage because Sydney FC play so well away from home this year, unbeaten this year. So you just wonder, hey, do we actually want to play them at home? Yeah, I mean, of course we would. We want to play in front of our fans, yeah. and I don't think we played them at Amy Park this year either. So that could be something different. And right, yeah, it's great. I've got one last question. One more. Here one we go. last one question. More. Then because go. I. I love you as a player, and many, many, you know, football-loving uh, members of the public love watching you play. What you do, to, you know, oh, your skills and your and your runs. But what I'll ask this, as a victory supporter, uh -oh. do you know the offside rule? <laughs> <laughs> I'm familiar with it. Right. Yeah. It's from his PS3 game. <laughs> yeah. So you do know the rule. You know the rule. Could yeah. you please explain it to Archie? That would really help us out. <laughs> that would really help us out. Congratulations, congratulations on this. This has been a production of Fox Sports.